Hi, my name's Thazza, Daryl, and uh, yeah, here's a little bit of a guide on the array tool over here. At the moment, um, we cannot select it because nothing is selected. So let's select something. Now, I like to make sure uh, what I'm trying to duplicate or create array, more importantly, right, is group. So you want to go and make sure they are grouped. Now, this is very handy. If we've got a sheet, we want to fill the same design. We can even mirror it. And um, yeah, so we now can select it. So we'll select it. Um, this is the last V you to use. So let's just change that back to zero for this guide. Now, if we want to, I've got a 600 by 300 sheet. I want to fill it with this design. So I'll click and make sure that's not selected for now. That's another feature. Um, but yeah, we'll go through and we can fit 24. But notice, right, they're very close together. Now, this is zero mil apart. If you imagine a box drawn around it, so if you draw brought this line directly upwards and this one, they would be right on top of each other. So now we want to mirror some, so we can mirror every second one in that direction. That gives us a little bit just the shape of it. Um, I think we can get a few more in there by bringing them up a little bit and we can decrease the spacing. You can also uh, change it to distance between center. So that's a spacing between center we've got at the moment. Um, now just doing that, we are at 529 now, so we can go a few more and we'll make it an even number. So I'll bring that up a little bit more. spacing a little bit less I'll change it to padding and 28 and we're 590 so we've got five more each side of our sheet now you see we've got it mirrored and we can fit more in now we can go reverse direction which just change it left to right etc um, we can shift it by half. Um, a few seconds you can play around with. Now we can do the same in the Y direction. So add them in. Right, so that's roughly our sheet full. But you can see here we've got overlaps. So we'll try to eliminate that from happening. And that looks pretty good. Right, so I'm pretty happy with that for a sheet and we can push OK. Now the virtual array is a little bit different. Now you can see how I can move one of them out because I've grouped them. Right, and when you go to send it laser, they will all select. I'll show you the um, the grid. We'll copy that one over to here, and then we go. Now, if we go into here again, uh, we'll add twenty-eight column shift. It doesn't uh, keep this from last time, and we had that. Right there. I think we're a little bit less. Sorry, that's more. And we'll go. Now, what's good about this is it shows their total size. Right at seven. But it also shows us how many items we have 
now duplicated. Um, clean that up so we have got them in there. Now create virtual arrays a little bit different. So if I selected that, you can see how all these ones are black and red now. And this is the only one highlighted. Uh, basically the same. We'll push OK, but I'll show you what this does. Now, if we go to select the whole lot, it doesn't select the whole lot. It only selects this one initial one we used. Now, we can then change that, and you see how they all move. Now, if we want to make them bigger, we can make them bigger. We want to make them wider, we can make them wider. And it changes every one. Five. I'll go back to where it looks good. And we've changed it a bit because it's gone around that way. I think we were... We also made them bigger, didn't we? So it's and wider. I'll just push the back button to get back to where we were originally. Right, so if you go to send that to the laser and try to copy the whole lot, I won't do it. It'll only select that one, don't worry too much, because if you go up to your window and preview, it will show us they're all in that file and it will show us that it's cutting all of them. Speed that up a little bit and yes that's basically it. Um, I hope that's helped out with that uh, grid array tool and a few other features of that. Thanks for watching.